And we live in an instant gratification culture, and so we sometimes tend to treat the Bible the same way. It's like, I have 10 minutes, and I have to get ready for work, and i got to live my day, and I need something from this. And often we're coming to it asking it for encouragement or for comfort, uh, which is good. The Bible offers encouragement and comfort, but we're looking for that, what do I do with it? And often what the Bible is offering is less encouragement and comfort and more correction Um, or exhortation. And so we need to make sure that when we come to the text, we don't jump to application just because we don't feel like we have a ton of time. Um, If we haven't spent time with comprehension, just learning what the text says, and then interpretation, asking based on what it says, what it is meaning to communicate, then the likelihood that we will draw proper application is low. And so you'll find that a lot of resources that are created today are almost entirely application-driven because they know that they want to feed our appetite to just know what should I do, how should it change me. Um, But to be a faithful student of the Word, we need to take on the work of comprehension and interpretation so that when an application is presented to us, we can judge it rightly against the text.